Okay guys, today we are gonna change the brake pads for Kia Cerato. Uh, first we have to lift up the car. Depends on the jack you are using. There is a place in most of the cars as you can see here. You will see there will be an arrow or two lines for you know putting the jack the original jack of the car but if you are using a bigger jack or something you can just you know place it on the chassis itself if you can reach the chassis you can place it in the chassis otherwise you can just place it also in the same place here where the company made first before lifting up the car you have to lose the the bolts of the car of the tire it's coming size 19 for this Kia Cerato. You have to open the brake fluid cap first so whenever you'll uh, release the brake pads you know you'll press the piston the oil will come up okay you have two bolts here one up here one down here they are both side uh, you know size uh, 14 and the brake cylinder you can open one of them always I prefer to open the lower one because of the pipe here you know that will not be pulled from up Now, as you can see, the piston is almost fully inside. You don't need to push it really fully inside, you know. All you need is the enough space, you know, that you can fix the new brake pads and the this size. If all this can go together inside, you know, and it will fit on it, then you are fine, you know. You can take the opportunity also while the tire is open and everything is open, you know, to clean up. You know, all this dirt around here. Okay, you have to make sure it's tight very well. And you have to check your brakes from time to time as well as your tires because these are the main things for your safety and for your life. So drive safe and see you in next video. After you are done with tightening your brakes and everything is fine, you check up everything from inside. Put your wheel, don't forget to tight your bolts very well and then you are ready to go. You will finish tightening after putting down 
the jack. After you are done changing the brake pads and this, don't forget to put back the cap of the fluid and pour some water if there is some fluid fall down so it will not damage your paints or whatever, you know, plastics down. And don't forget to pump the brake before moving the car. Just start the car and pump the brakes.